Entering into Maya, we can see that we have our guy. He is technically still Z up. And if we change it to minus 90, he's now up in the Y up world. But he's facing the wrong direction, and we need to figure out how to take care of that. So the BIP01 is the root joint. If I go to Tools and click Create Scene Root from Models Back, we can now correspond to the actual axis of the root joint, or BIP01. So if we move it forward to the left, we can see that the joints actually correspond to the scene root group. You can see this because we have transform displays on. Technically speaking, you don't need the big green and blue arrows. They can be deleted. And then when we come in and look at this, we'll see how it actually corresponds. We have to get right up in there. So we have the BIP01 joint, and if we go up to Display, Transform Display, Local Rotation Axis, we've turned it off. And those are the two things overlapping. So let's go over and turn it back on, and we can see that's why they have to correspond correctly. Both need to be minus 90, so when you export, the scene root compensates for the orientation that's off. And what it will do is send it in in 3ds Max Z Up World.